ان الحمد لله تعالى نحمده ونستعين به ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تبارك وتعالى من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله تعالى فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى واحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه واله وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار نسال الله العزيز الغفار ان يجيرنا واياكم من عذاب النار We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We thank Him for His generosity, for the ni'mah of Islam. And by Allah, if He was the only ni'mah that Allah bestowed upon us, He will be sufficient. We thank Him subhanahu wa ta'ala for this gathering. And as you know, Majalis al Ilm, Majalis al Dhikr, these settings where we gather to talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. to talk about his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam to talk about the deen of allah these are blessed settings subhanallah and as you know when you come and sit to listen to a talk of ilm the many things do happen among which as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam informed us that the malaika تحفه مجلس تحفه الملائكة. The ملائكة will come. There are ملائكة that travel the earth looking for settings of ذكر. يبحثون عن مجالس ذكر. فلما يجدون هذه المجالس يقولون لبعضهم البعض هلموا إلى بغيتكم هلموا إلى بغيتكم. They tell each other when they find a place like this where Uh, there is a majlis of dhikr where Allah Ta'ala is mentioned and His Messenger is mentioned. They tell each other, let's go. Let's go to that which you were seeking. We found that which you, you were seeking. And they come and they cover the place. They surround the place and they cover it, subhanAllah, with, uh, with their wings. وَتَخْشَرْهُمُ الرَّحْمَةِ And then the mercy of Allah descends down on, them, on the people that are sinning, subhanAllah. And Allah Ta'ala, the creator of the heavens and the earth, He mentions them in a setting that is better than, than theirs. Man Inda, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He mentions those people in His setting. And Allah Ta'ala only knows how His setting is and how tremendous His setting is. He mentions the people that were sitting there. He mentions each one of them, subhanAllah. And They, before they leave, he makes the malaika bear witness, telling them, my servants, the only reason they're sitting there is for me. I have you be witnesses, all of you, that I forgave them. He's told oh Allah, so and so only came for something else. He came to that place for something else. He's seeking something else besides Majlis al-Ilm. He said, SubhanAllah, these are my, my people, my close ones. لا يشقى بهم جليسهم The one that sits with them, 
would never see or experience sadness, he is forgiven as well. Subhanallah. So Allah, and the person that turns his back on the legends of, of dhikr, we spend hours of our time doing so many things. We spend hours of our time maybe just sitting, uh, vegetating as they say, you know, watching TV or something, wasting time. But subhanAllah, when it comes to these settings, the shaitan comes and says, hey, you have this to do, and you have that to do, and you're busy, and there's you know, things that you have to take care of, and chores, and all of that. The person picks up, and he walks right out. What did he turn his back on? He turned his back on what could be the opportunity. His opportunity, the one that he was missing, that one that he was missing. When Allah Ta'ala accounts for hasanat and sayyat, He puts the scales and the accounts for the two. And oh, he needs 51 and he has only 49. It is that one opportunity that that person missed. That that could have made the difference. That, that's the one that could have tipped the scale in his favor. SubhanAllah. But what did he do? Very, in a very nonchalant way, he just turned his back on it and he walked out. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the ones that understand what the priorities are. Because one of the madafid of the shaitan is he will, he will, he will mix the priorities for you. The madafid of shaitan and now you ba'thiru laka an awlawiyyat. You ba'thiru laka an awlawiyyat. And he had the madafid of the dhukir of the akhir madafid of the madafid of shaitan. And he jumped in ba'aka في الشرك ويجرد معك في البدعة ويجرد معك حتى إذا لم تستمع إليه ولم تتبع فهو يبعث لك الأولويات ويغير لك الأولويات الشيطان one of his many tricks one of many doors he starts with you with shit and he starts you know going down the line whatever works with you until if he tried everything and nothing works he will come and he will get your priorities mixed for you. That is the luck. And the majority fall in that one. The majority, even the most pious ones, they fall, they could fall in that particular one. Which one is a priority in the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So we ask Allah ta'ala to teach us and to always remind us what our priority is and to uh, guide us to that path, the path of our real priorities. So that we are not taken by the, the introduction like last couple of times I will dive right into the meat of our uh, uh, subject in talking about Al-Bid'ah. And I talked a little bit uh, uh, the last couple of times, uh, SubhanAllah, we were taken by the introduction all the way to the end. But we'll try inshallah to dive into the, the, the important things. And I, if you remember, look at Quran. تعرفت البدعة لغة قال ابن فارس رحمه الله عن هذه المادة مادة الباء والدال والعين أصلان لشيئين قال أحدهما تذكر ابتداء الشيء وصنعه تذكر لا عن مثال سابق الابتداء والبدعة لذلك قيل قال الله عز وجل في محكم كتابه بديع السماوات والأرض أي خالقها من غير مثال سابق خالقها من غير مثال سابق سبحان الله وقوله معلما نبيه صلى الله عليه وسلم the, uh, the one thing that I said before is the fact that linguistically البدعة is to create Something without a prior example. Without a prior example. That's why Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran, Badiru Sanawati wal Arq. Talking about Himself, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. Mean the creator of the heavens and the earth without a prior example. He created from scratch. He created from nothing without a prior example. Every creation that comes after that has a prior example. The airplane, they see birds. They study birds, how they fly, and they, they, subhanAllah, they follow suit. 
uh, submarines, the, the boats, all of that, there is a prior example. But Allah Ta'ala, He created without a prior example. And He said, Allah Ta'ala said, Allah Ta'ala, قُلْ يَا مُحَمَّدْ قُلْ مَا كُنْتُ بِدْعًا مِنَ الرُّسُلِ Say, O oh Muhammad, I was not an innovation. I mean, this idea of prophethood and messengership is not something new. I come in a long line and a long tradition of prophets and messengers because they, his people said, "Ma bihada fi We've never heard of this. Where did this come from? This prophethood thing. So he said, Allah instructed the prophet to say to, to, say to them, "Say, I was not." It's not something new. It's not something that never happened before. There were many prophets and messengers that, messengers that came before me. I am just one of them. Subhanallah. Well, bid'ah also means linguistically to get tired of something and to quit doing it, to get completely tired of something and to, get, to quit doing it. So SubhanAllah uh, created something with a prior example and if you remember the Tadkurun ذَكَرَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ كَلِمَةً أُخْرَى تَعْلِي نَفْسَ الشَّيْءٍ يَا بَدِيعُ السَّمَاوَةِ وَالْأَرْضُ وَتَذْكُرُوا فَاطِرُ السَّمَاوَةِ وَالْأَرْضُ And this SubhanAllah shows the diversity of the, the Arabic language and why, and I talked about this a little bit, why the لماذا يعني قرئ القرآن وأنزل أنزل على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم على سبعة أحرف لماذا عندنا عشر روايات the, the reason why the Quran was sent down the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم based on seven letters they call it seven letters meaning seven different ways to recite with some variations in some words because there are many, there were many tribes of the Arabs, and a lot of them, they would understand a, a, something a particular way, and they don't, they don't understand it if you say it another way. Uh, an example that comes to mind: هل تعلمون كلمة وأنتم سامدون السمود ما هو السمود? The word sumud. Allah said, وأنتم سامدون. السمود في لغة حمير في لغة حمير هو الغناء وهذه سدل بها الفقهاء على تحريم تحريم الغناء والموسيقى وكذا وأنتم سامدون فالسمود هو الغناء عند حمير ولكن العرب القبائل من أهل القبائل الأخرى لم يفهموا ك the word the word السمود سامدون in one tribe by the name of Hinyo it means to sing to play music to sing but the other Arabs did not understand until the Prophet ﷺ gathered when he came with the Quran the Arabs understood a lot of the words أذكروا سبحان الله أن رجال من من قبائل العرب أتوا إلى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فقالوا أنت تزعم أن هذا أن هذا القرآن عربي قال قال بلى قال ولكننا وجدنا فيه كلمات ليست بعربية فقال مثل ماذا؟ فقالوا مثلا كبار كلمة قسوة كلمة عجاب هذه كلمات لا نعرفها فقال أتوني بأفصحكم أتوني بأفصحكم فجاءوا برجل طاعن في السن يعني طاعن في السن فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم له اجلس يا عم اجلس يا عمه فجلس فقال قم فساعدوه فقام فقال اجلس فجلس قال قم فساعدوه فقام فقام فسبحان الله يعني غضب الرجل فقال كيف هذا يا محمد كيف هذا يا ابن قسوه العرب أتقيمني وتقعدني؟ إن أباك كان 
رجلا كبار ان هذا سيدنا شيء عجاب سبحان الله the, the Prophet I said I'm trying to translate this one because it's a little bit difficult they, some people came to him and said do you claim that this Quran is, is, is in the Arabic language he said yes they said well there, there are many there are some words that are, that are not we're not familiar with they're not Arabic words he said like what so for example like Kubar like Kubar means someone of status someone of status like nobility the word Aswa, which, which means the lion, is one of the, one of the 400 names of the lion. Did you know that the, name, the lion has over 400 names, right? You guys know the story of the lion. I'll tell you the story of the lion in a minute. And uh, Rujab, for example, Rujab is another say, way of saying Ajit. Ajit means this is a, amazing, this is strange. They say Rujab. But subhanAllah, the Prophet said, well, bring me someone who is the most eloquent of all of you. They brought this really old person, I mean, 100 years old, over, barely walking. Then he said, uncle, come on, come on in, have a seat. He sat down, he said, get up. They helped him, and he, he got up with difficulty. He said, have a seat. He sat down, he said, get up. Then they helped him up. So he got mad. He said, how is that possible, Ya Muhammad? How is it possible, O son of the Qaswa of, of, of the Arabs? I mean, the lion of the Arabs. So he used the word Qaswa. He said, do you make me get up and make me sit down? And your father was a kubba, someone of nobility. He used that word, second word. He said, this is something strange. In the she would rojah. This is something strange. And he used all the words in one sentence, that those people came to tell the Prophet ﷺ were not Arabic words. Obviously, a tremendous language, a deep, a very deep language. Now the story of the lion, you guys want to hear the story of the lion? <laughs> okay. If, you know, I'll just say it in English, inshallah. Uh, a man went to ask this woman in marriage. This woman that he loved, he wanted to ask her, her hand in marriage. His father wanted to tell him nicely to go fish, take a hike anyway, get lost. But he wanted to do it in an eloquent, nice way. He said, yeah, no problem. But her dowry will be the head of the lion, that big lion that thre threatens our livestock. Go give me his head, she's yours. He went with his spear, found the lion, got off his horse, had a nice little battle with the, the lion, killed him, and he brought his head. No problem. Carried the head to the guy here. So the man, he couldn't do anything. Let's say he was stuck. So they got married. So this man stood up the day of his wedding. This was a custom. He used to, the, the custom of the Arabs and the day that he get married, they will stand and they will give a speech. They will give a khutbah. He was said that he stood from the morning till sunset giving a speech. All in poetry, all of it rhymed. He made it up as he went along. Uh, I would not, I don't need to tell you what kind of beauty it is in. Describing his battle with the, with the lion. And he mentioned the word lion 400 times. Only, he did not use the same word twice. The same name for the lion, did not use it twice. He said 400 different names of the lion. How many names do you know of the lion? And you come in the Asma, Ta'ifun al Asad, in the Arab. يعني أسد ليث غضن فم هزم أسوار حتى حمزة أبو الحارث هاي we can only barely come up with seven there's over four hundred سبحان الله and this man knew them all and used them all in his poetry that's how deep 
this language is. No wonder Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose it for the best book that he sent down on, on mankind. So, the, the, uh, the word Fatih is like I said before, Ibn Umar said that two people quarreled about a will that they had, you know, dug out. Each one of them will claim it for himself. So one of them said, Oh, Ali wa Mu'minin, I am the one who, and he used the word Fatatuha, I mean, I'm the one who dug it out, created it. He said, Ibn Umar said, I, Then I understood what Fatih is Sanawati of me, so the one who created without a previous example. اصطلاحا تعريف البدعة عرفه الإمام عرف الإمام الشاطبي رحمه الله قال بأنها طريقة في الدين مخترعة تضاه الشريعة يقصد بالسلوك يعني بهذا السلوك المبالغة في التعبد لله سبحانه وتعالى الإمام الشاطبي in describing in defining what the bid'ah means idiomatically technically he said that it is a way in the deen of Allah that is created, that is innovative, that is new. There is a person that does it, he puts it as equal to that which was revealed in the, the, the deen of Allah. Not only it created something, but he put it, puts it as equal to that which Allah Taala ordained upon the people. And this is really, this is the danger. This is the danger, creating something and saying that this is something that as good as what came to us from Allah and His Messenger. SubhanAllah. He said that what, what is meant by it, and I'm shocked that he continues to say, what is meant by it is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I mean, it's a way in worship that is created, that person, people put equal to that which came to us in the Quran and the Sunnah. SubhanAllah, they, they use it to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A'udhu billahi min dhali. Shaykh al-Islam bin Taymiyyah rahimahullah qala ma lam yusharrib yusharrib hullahu wa rasooluh sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa huwa ma lam ya'mur bihi ay rasoolullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam amra ijabin wa lastihbab أمر إيجاب والاستحباب تعلمون أن من قواعد أصول الفقه أن الأمر يفيد الوجوب الأمر يفيد الوجوب إلا إذا كانت معه قرينة تفيد غيره مثلا الاستحباب كمثل قوله صلى الله عليه وسلم صلوا قبل المغرب صلوا قبل المغرب صلوا قبل المغرب فليظهر في أول النص أن هذا أمر ويفيد الوجوب حتى قال صلى الله عليه وسلم لمن شاء فعرفنا أنه يفيد الاستحباب uh, ابن تيمية رحمه الله said this is something that which Allah and his messenger did not, did not legislate that's, that's what that is what a bid'ah is and he said that uh, something that the Prophet did not ordain upon the Ummah whether it is something as an order or something that is like something that is Istihbab, meaning that you have the choice to do it and you have the choice to uh, leave it. وقال رحمه الله ابن تيمية تعرفون ابن تيمية رحمه الله تكلم كثيرا في هذه الأمور قال بدعة ما خالف خالفة الكتابة والسنة وإجماع السلف من من الاعتقادات والعبادات. He said that the bid'a the innovation is that which goes against the Kitab, the Book of Allah, the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the consensus of the scholars, or Ijma'ah, the Salaf, that pertaining to, and this is dangerous, pertaining to creed, and as you know, a bid'ah in the creed is deadly, subhanAllah. 
it will destroy a person's being, it will destroy someone's hereafter. Uh, and it has to do with the acts of worship. Creed first, and acts of worship. He said that uh, in saying the bid'ah is that which goes against the, the, the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when it comes to the creed and the uh, acts of worship. He said some, such as the uh, things that the Khawarij do, the Rawafid which is the Shia do, the Qadariyya, and you know what the Qadariyya is, the ones that don't believe in Qadr. Uh, and the ones we see them subhanAllah, especially in Turkey, the ones that worship Allah, how? By dancing and singing, playing music. Subhanallah, doing, yeah, exactly. Doing exactly like what they do in, in churches. It reminds me, subhanAllah, of you guys ever seen the uh, the story of uh, Yusuf Estes, how he became a Muslim. Yusuf Estes, the, the famous uh, Dari, uh, who's from Texas. He was a Baptist minister, and he was a, the music minister, basically. And by chance, he came to do business with this person from Egypt, and that's how he found out about Islam. And it's pretty fascinating. So, when he started learning about Islam, his business incidentally was to sell music instruments. <laughs> So he said to the Egyptian person, he said, so what kind of instruments do you guys use in your places of worship? Because he's thinking, kitchen, kitchen. I mean, this, how many massages? Probably about six, seven hundred in America. I can make millions through this guy here. <laughs> I can make a lot of money. SubhanAllah. Because to them, music, I mean, is connected with, connected with worship. You cannot worship without music. And I find this subhanAllah to be the biggest trick, or maybe one of the biggest tricks that Shaytan has pulled. Pretty clever. You make people believe that the only way that they can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is using something that he made forbidden. That's something that he made forbidden. That's pretty, it's a pretty good trick. It, it, for, it took him centuries to do. But he was successful at it. Now, you cannot have a church or any act of worship in church without having music in its power. All of them. All of the above. It has to be, it's a choir, right? It has to be a choir. It has to be singing and dancing. Now imagine, subhanAllah, a religion that goes from Islam, people that go to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the way that He ordained, to people that come. And they're together, they mix together men and women, very nicely dressed, and they stand there and they sing and dance together. And they call it what? Worship. Ya Allah. Do you see how clever the shaykhan is? Now it will be It only it only makes sense. Iblis has been around longer than any one of us. He was around before Adam alayhi salam. He was around when every book was revealed. He was around when every prophet and messenger was sent. Standing there listening and learning. And he learned so many tricks. So no one, Allah, no one, the person who thinks that he is a previous and he's safe from the shaitan is sorely mistaken. Because right when you think that you have every door covered, he has many other doors that you've never heard of before. The only thing that will protect you, if you remember I talked about this in the previous lecture, about the dua, the only hasm, the only fortress they have, is what? The constant dhikr of Allah. Subhanallah. Unbelievable. So subhanAllah, this disease 
of dancing and singing finally made, it made its way to, to our Ummah and there are people that generally think that they can worship Allah through dancing and singing. وَعَرَّفَهَا إِبْنُ رَجَبْ سُبْحَانَ أَعْقَالِ بِسْتَاعَةً لَا تَرْحَمَ عَرَفَهَا إِبْنُ رَجَبْ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ مَا أُحْدِثَ مِمَّا لَا أَصْلَ لَهُ فِي الشَّرِيعَةِ يَدُلُّ عَلَيْهِ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ إِبْنُ رَجَبْ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ said in defining the we're probably going to spend this whole halaqa in definitions but it's you know more more knowledge for for all of us inshallah in honoring uh, the scholars of the past in, in you know mentioning their definitions what they did to to protect the ummah from the danger of the bid'ah the said that was that which was innovative uh, that has no that has no roots at all in the the legislation and the Sharia of Allah Subhanahu. There is no proof. There is no proof. Something that they created. وقال وأما ما كان له ما كان له أصل في الشرع يدل عليه. فليس بدعة شرعا أو كان أو إن وإن كان بدعة بدعة لغة لغة. يعني he said that which the, the, the real things, the things that really came from the, the shah of Allah, the, the deen of Allah, you will always find a proof about it. There's always proof. But he said that the, you will always find a proof about that which really comes from Allah and really comes from the Messenger of Allah. Besides that, there will be there is no proof. Wasuyuti, rahimahullah, qala, imaratun an fi'latin. Shu sama hai fi'la. Shu hal fi'la hai. Sama hai fi'la. Fi'la, tu sadim sharia bin mukhalafati, aw tu tujibu. تعاطي عليها بزيارة أو نقصان يسر الله أمرك يا أخي حياك الله he said that the bid'ah is some sort of deed and he said فعلا and فعلا to diminish diminish the value of it something that that it goes against goes against the sharia and he goes completely against that which you are supposed to do as a Muslim by the way of adding something to the religion or diminishing from it. تعلمون أن الفقه في شيء من الجفاف فلا بد من صبر لا بد من صبر إن شاء الله. The fiqh in general, the lectures that have fiqh, they're a little bit cut and dry. They're a little bit difficult to to be patient with and to sit and to listen to. But it's something that we have to do every now and then, inshallah, so that we, that's what the name of the, the meaning of fiqh is, is understanding, so that we understand our religion deeper. And for the ones that already understand the things that I'm talking about, you are reminded. And I'm reminded as well. I remind myself and my brothers. I mean, خلال هذه التعاريف تظهر لنا معالم البدعة وهي أولا إن البدعة تكون في الدين فيخرج ما أحدث ولم يقصد به الدين وإنما لتحقيق مصلحة دنيوية وهذه مسألة مهمة جدا لأن سبحان الله من يحبون البدع دائما يجادلون بهذه المسألة فأنتم تقولون البدع كذا وهذه بدعة وهذه بدعة فلماذا تركبون السيارات وتركبون الطيارات هذه بدعة إن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لم يركب السيارة ولا الطيارة فأنتم تتبعون وتنهون عن البدعة هذا الذي يقولون دائما سبحان الله the three things that become clear or the four things that become clear from the definitions that we saw that the bid'ah is that which was innovated in the deen of Allah itself has to do with creed or has to do with the act of worship and this is the answer to a lot of people that love, they have the love of bid'ah in their hearts and when you talk to them about it, what do they say? 
Well, the Prophet وسلم, did not have a car, did not drive a car. There is a bit up. He did not take an airplane. There is a bit up. You people are telling us to stay away from bit up. And you guys yourself do bit up. You drive a car, you get on a plane. <laughs> toothpaste, all of that, subhanAllah. But what they have to understand is the fact that bid'ah is an innovation in the deen of Allah. Strictly, it has to do with creed, but it has to do with acts of worship. Besides that, any innovation, any bid'ah, wara adhaik, lithi tutu hafiqu al-masalih al-dunyawiyya, fahiyya mahmooda, fahiyya jameela, fahiyya subhanallah, yani shayun jayid, sayun yuhmadu alayhi sahibu, Anything besides that, innovation in the, the, of the things that make the life of this world easier for the sons of Adam is something good. Tanian, قَالَ أَنَّ الْبِبْعَةَ لَيْسَ لَهَا أَصْرُ شَعْرِي يَدُلُّ عَلَيْهِ فَرَأَيْنَا مِنْ هَذِهِ مِنْ التَّعَارِفِ أَنَّ الْبِبْعَةَ لَا أَصْلَ لَهَا فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ وَفِي شَرْحِ اللَّهِ That the bid'ah has, you will not find any, any fundamentals of it, any roots of it, any True proof from the deen of Allah about it. Talitan, and the bid'ah kulluha bazbuma. It lays a hunaka bid'ah to hasana, bid'ah to sayyidah. There, that the bid'ah, all of it is bad. Because some people say, well, this is a good bid'ah. Like, the reason why I started talking about the subject, and I started actually when around uh, uh, the 12th of Rabi'ah, the Tani. Because people were celebrating the Mawlid Nabawi, and people say, This is a bid'ah, this is a good bid'ah. And subhanAllah, down the road, when I talk about where exactly this thing came from and when it, how it appeared, you will see that it could not possibly be good. All of the bid'ah is bad. There is no good bid'ah and bad bid'ah. Rabi'ah and the bid'ah fi din fa takunu fi naqsi kama takunu fi ziyada. The bid'ah in the din of Allah Ta'ala could be by adding something to it and then by taking away something from, from it. And this is something most people don't realize. They, they say they think a bid'ah is if you add something to the din of Allah Ta'ala but rather a bid'ah is also taking something away from the din of Allah. You fall into the bid'ah. How are we doing? How are we feeling? I think we should stop here, inshallah, because everyone is getting tired. Subhanallah, I mean, and you have the last thing to say. And I put to them the little bit of suffering, inshallah, and I'm going to go, inshallah, and I'm going to go, 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 وما أخرنا ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكون أنا من الظالمين الخاسرين ربنا إنك جامع الناس اليوم لا رد فيه إنك لا تخلف الميعاد ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإصرافنا في أمرنا وثبت أقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والحمد لله رب العالمين وجزاكم الله خيرا سبحان الله yeah there are there are many and uh, you find them when you look up on YouTube just look up so so on YouTube and you see some crazy things they're dancing and they're jumping around and music in the masjid yeah subhanallah huh? They kiss his hand and they jump in. The, the person, the 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 leader, he sits you know, on a chair, like a throne, a chair, and they uh, they dance and they jump around and they come every time they kiss his hand. They go back and. Uh, yeah. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala keep us away from such things. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Make us from people of, of the Sunnah, inshaAllah ta'ala. Ameen, ameen. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.